the best, the undefeated. I mean, his striking game and his, his ground game is, is the best. So that's why he's the best. So there is no hype behind that. He's the shit. So. <laughs> We will have to see how this fight goes. But if I can win by submission, I will. If I can choke him out, I will. If not, I will knock him out. Maybe his chin is the only thing I think you can see as a weakness. Well, that's the only weakness I, can, I think I can see. You know, I mean, he's pretty strong everywhere else. You know, so. Well, I'm glad that Mark Hunt was actually able to find my weakness. What I'd like to say to Mark Hunt is, I wish you success, and I'm definitely looking for an exciting fight with you tonight. This will definitely be a battle and a test for both of us. And finally, Mark Hunt, Happy New Year to you. There's the challenger in the blue corner, Mark Hunt, five and two in MMA, five and two in Pride, stands five foot ten, two hundred ninety pounds, thirty-two years old. His opponent. You just heard it, the heavyweight champion Fedor Emelianenko, 24 and 1 in Pride, 13 and 0, a native of Russia, stands 6 feet, 233 pounds. He's 30 years of age. Don't let that record of uh, Mark Hunt fool you. That five and two, he spent a lot of years kickboxing, a lot of years in other organizations kickboxing. He has over 60 or 75, between 60 and 70 matches in kickboxing alone. A lot of ring experience. Trey, give us a quick scouting report here. Hunt's best chance to win this game. Hit him with a left hook, knock him down. Knock him out. Fedor's, take him down, submit him. 
Fedor, not your typical, uh, not the typical look of a heavyweight Jets. champion. Jets. Jets. Ready, go! Here we go, the heavyweight title bout. Nice. The prize in mixed martial arts, the heavyweight title belt on the line right here. Mark Hunt trying to get his hands on it. It's interesting too that there's more than a, than a 22 pound di weight difference. And Fedor is beating the lighter man, had the option of whether or not to allow four point attacks while on the ground, he said yes. So Mark will be able to knee and kick and, and strike to the head of Fedor if he's on the ground, which actually is an advantage for Fedor, believe it or not, because he's better on the ground. There's a quick strike by Hunt. Fedor, a little red on the right side of his head there. That one really landed, didn't seem like it. No, it didn't, didn't land. I think that redness was actually from before when he came in. It might have happened in warming up. A hunt with an uppercut. Doesn't get him. Fedor, gonna handle on both arms, trying to bring nice. it down, and oh, does. Geez. Fedor's got him up top. Is Hunt in early trouble here, Trigg? Yeah, he's in full mouth and already. This is, this is the beginning of the end right now. And if Les Hunt is some, somehow can get himself back up to his feet, he's in a lot of trouble right here. And Fedor's a guy with arm bar. Very here comes the arm bar. Here comes the arm Oh, he missed the head. He's okay. Hunt's okay right now. He's got to keep that leg off his head. Fedor, when he swung, he didn't get his leg over his head. He has to get the leg over. He's trying to sneak it in now. Now he's, he's going to get there. it. Hunt's got to keep his head from getting caught in here. If he keep his head out, it'll be okay. Now he's going to keep his arm bent. Keep his hands locked. See how Hunt has his hands locked, so Fredo can't extend his arm out. He's doing a good job of it. Thus far, it's gonna be tough, because this is this is Fredo's best position. He's very sneaky under here. He knows a lot of positions on how to pull this arm apart. Hunt can't worry about striking or anything in this position. He needs to worry about the fence, keeping his arm in, and trying to get out. Any knee strikes, any kind of striking here is gonna be a detriment. Is Fedor a much stronger guy than Hunt? You know what? He's not a much stronger guy than Hunt if we're talking about bench pressing and squatting. But this, in this position, oh, his arm is extended. This might be over. This could be it right here. Oh, nice step up. Oh, my gosh. He did a great job. He's okay. He's doing all right. Good counter. Oh, my God. Great counter. How did he do that? Holy crap. I can't believe he got out of that one. That's it. Fader is the best armbar practitioner in the world right now at this. He's, he's submitted four or five different guys in that same position, and for Hunt to get out of there is incredible. Some early big confidence for Hunt. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Taking on Fader's best position and getting out of it. Now he's on top for a good ground and pound. How often do you see Fedor in this position? Not very often, do you? I, I don't think I've ever seen Fader in this position, side-mounted by somebody else on, on the bottom. I don't think I, I could be honest with you. I can't. I can't. My instant memory remember or recollect any time that Fedor's been in this spot. Wow! Great job. Great job by Mark Hunt. That, that's absolutely amazing. It looks like he's gaining a little bit of confidence here. Kind of look on his face a little bit. Doesn't really have a look of fear, if you will, like most opponents do when they face Fedor. Well, Hunt is such a great competitor. He's been competing for so long. Like I say, he did a lot of kickboxing before this. That he's a guy that's not gonna not gonna get rattled. Hunt's not, and Fedor is just so stoic. He never gets shaken ever. A lot of people didn't get, give Hunt a shot with Fedor on the ground, and well, here know, he is and escaped an early armbar. Well, you know what? I've been I've been in fights where I was a four to one underdog, and, and people didn't give me any shots at all. And, I TKO guys in the second round, and, and the same thing with Hunt is the reason why we have the fights, man. Just because, you know, the, all the all the color guys and all the, 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 the professionals say that, hey, this is how it's going to go. It doesn't necessarily work that way. I didn't give Hunt a chance on the ground either with Fredo. When he got mounted, I thought it was completely over, and here we are. We're still in the fight. Does Mark want to get this game back to the feet? You know, you would think so, but, but you got to remember, Mark is also carrying... Um, I'm not sure my math skills right here. He's carrying, you know, 30 extra pounds over Fedor. So as a result, uh, he's weighing on him. He's making Fedor carry his weight, which is a, which is very, very difficult for anybody to maintain that weight. And then when it eventually does go back to the feet, Hunt will be able to land a couple more more strikes to the head. Now, granted, Hunt's been able to stay alive here in the early going, but is he getting too confident by staying on the ground this long? Yeah, he, 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 at this point now, Fedor's starting to catch his wrist and what have you. He needs to get back up if he can. But he's in a position now. He's, he's got Fedor on his knees. Oh, let's get him out. He lands one on Fedor. Oh, back of the head, back of the head. They had to stop it. Fedor's a little mad now. You see a little blood dripping. Well, let's, you know, the thing is, though, remember, sometimes mad is good, sometimes mad is bad. Look like if Hunt we, landed one there. That right that right landed, but that hook missed. And here's the... Mark's, step, Mark's stepping with his head down. knee from Fedor. Shut up.
corner from Hunt, you know, and short jabs, short jabs. He doesn't want to over extending himself because Trader's so good at the takedown. And there it is, one. Wow, this is the second time that Mark's been on top of the takedown. So the takedown game is actually being won by Hunt right now, which is unbelievable. Almost halfway through the first round here. The heavyweight title bout between Fedor and the challenger, Mark Hunt. I gotta be honest with you, right now it's halfway through this, I think Fedor's losing this bout. Like a little shaking up here. A little bit, oh. Mark's going for Americana? Shut up, he's got, he's got the key lock locked up, he's got it locked up. There's no, no way no, Fedor's gonna tap No, he can't, there's no, no, this can't happen. Oh my gosh! He did. He Fader had it locked in. I can't believe that Fedor got out of that. I'm surprised that Mark's Boy. actually taken. He's got that much confidence where he's actually stepping into everything. How close is Hunt here? You know what? You know, he's, he's going, going for it again. again. He's going for it again. Trick, what does he have to do? To he's got to pack his wrist. He's got to bring it closer to the body. He's too far away from Fedor's shoulder. Bring that wrist tighter and pack it. He's got to pick it in tighter and start swinging it. Fader's okay though, it doesn't look like he's, there's no, you can't tell by looking at his face, it never shows whether he's in the paint or not. Pot shots to Hunt's left ribs, I don't think they're affecting him, he's got a little bit of padding there. Well, he just had to let it go, he wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't feel like he was close, even though he really was close. <laughs> if Hunt gets out of this first round, this will be further than anybody ever gave him any kind of of hope that he would ever make with, with the champ. So win or lose the rest of the way from Mark Hunt. He's Seems fully like he's mounted. A heck of a show. This is a, he fully stepped into full mount. This is great. Hunt's doing a great job, but now he's in a position in a place he's not shoot, sh sure of. Him. Now they get back up to their feet. Here comes Fedor. Oh, with a big left, but he misses. Good sambo throw by by, uh, by Freddy. You remember though, Mark Hunt is such an agile, quick, quick, quick heavyweight that it's hard to take him down to the ground. And that's what, so far, that's what's doing. It's all defense. Every time they go down to the ground, it's defense on Mar on uh, Hunt's, Hunt's part. It's keeping Fredo from ending up on top. They hit the canvas again, separate. Like they're starting from scratch again here, Trey. Three minutes remaining in the opening round. Now, Fredo's stepping it up. He's, he's definitely... He's, he looks mad. Yeah, he's pissed off now. He's definitely stepping it up. He's gonna start... There he goes. Oh, now there goes Hunt the twist, to the ground. Got the twist takedown. He's in half guard. And in a minute here, he's gonna push the hand down, he's gonna push down that far hand, he's gonna step across. It's a, a much better fight than, than, than I would have given it, given it hope for because Hunt's so agile on the ground. How's Hunt's conditioning right now? Where does that come into play? Hunt's always, for his body type, he doesn't look like he'd be in great shape, but he's actually always in really, really good shape. Fedor seems to be wearing down a little bit tonight. Something you don't usually see out of the champ. You know, he's carrying he's carrying an extra, you know, an extra 30 or 40 pounds on top of him as he, as he tries to lock up. Look at the arm. He's trying to pull in this. He's trying, trying to, to He's trying to get that arm behind Hunt. There he goes, he's got to put now. So if you see how the wrist is away from his body, he's got to pull this wrist in tight to his body to make it work. When it's that far out, it's not gonna work as well. But Fedor's gonna get it up. Fedor has this little trick where he slides it all the way up and then he pulls the wrist in at the last minute, and that's what takes guys tap out. He's trying to get it. That's it. Now he's that's getting it. close. Tap it out. It's all. It's it. It's all. Fader it's all over. on to the heavyweight title bout. Mark Hunt taps out at 8:16 of round one. Fedor remains the heavyweight champion in Pride Fighting Championships. Here comes the confetti. Here comes the celebration. What a night this has been, Frank Drake. Well, I, I, you know, I'm really impressed with the way Mark Hunt fought. He did a great job. Absolutely amazing. And for Fedor to take that kind of beating and be in that kind of position where he was just pushed off. This is the reason why I say that, that Fedor is heads and shoulders ahead of every other heavyweight in the world. The reason why that that he, he makes the Pride Fighting Championship's heavyweight division because there is no other heavyweight in the world that can contain with him. So Hunt goes down after putting up a valiant fight with Fedor. Last eight minutes, 16 seconds. He did a well, great job. Most got, people got, thought he would last. Yeah, I know. They, they never thought it was anywhere close. He caught him a great Kimura, and it was amazing on the position that he caught him in because he took his time, he packed it. He was a lot of trouble. He found the space, he found the position, and found a way to hunt to, to come back and make it work. So Hunt gets caught in the Kimura and the trophy for once again defending his heavyweight title belt, coming the way of Fedor, Emilianenko. Wow, look at and this Mark position. Hunt, look at Hunt. 
You can see how far back this position got pushed. And then he came back to it again. And see how he's got the wrist out? And he's really twisting that elbow up. It's a shoulder position. It doesn't hurt the elbow. It's actually ro tearing his rotator cuff on his shoulder. That's the submission. It's one of the best ones. And Fader does it better than anybody else around. Well, Mark Hunt, the first person from the Oceana to fight for the Pride heavyweight belt, didn't disappoint his people tonight, did he, Trey? No, not at all. He, he's, it's, he's only had eight matches in MMA, even though he's had a ton of, ton of you know, kickboxing matches. But his matches in MMA have, have come fast and furious. He's had a bunch of tough, tough guys he had to compete against. And he's doing an incredible job. And now for some of the pageantry surrounding Pride Fighting Championships, there you see Josh Barnett giving Fedor a hug, congratulating him on his victory. Fedor now 25 and 1, 14 and 0 in Pride undefeated. Can anybody beat this guy? Uh, nobody to date. I mean, there's a lot of guys that give him a tough go. I think Josh Barnett has a really good shot because he can strike with him on his feet, but he's also going to do the submissions. And, you know, I mean, there, you know, it's only, it's going to be somebody from Pride is the only, ones that, the only one that could beat him. And it's the only way it's going to happen. And, and if it's not Barnett, then Nogueira is the only other one right now that even has a shot. There's nobody else around. Uh, that could possibly come close to him uh, at this point. Fedor taking the trophy, taking some flowers, a couple handshakes. Going to be a pleasant ride back to Russia for Fedor. <laughs> All 37 and a half million hours he has to. You have to understand how, how Fedor gets here. He has to fly. If I'm correct, he has to fly all the way into Pe St. Petersburg, Moscow. He flies in. The, he has to fly into He's Moscow. He's on a train for. Tw 12-hour train ride he takes after, after that. Are you after kidding Moscow, me? Yeah, this is, this is the heavyweight champ of the world. He takes a 12-hour train ride after he lands in Moscow. That's incredible. Mr. Takata. Hador taking congratulations for successfully defending his belt. A few more formal words. <laughs> you, have to, you have to forgive us, ladies and gentlemen. Our uh, interpreter actually got called away, so we're. It's getting, taking us a second to get pulled in. Fedor, a very humble man in victory. Uh, not a flashy guy, no. not a showy guy. He just goes about his business. There's his wife right there, Oksana, seven year old daughter Marsha, also here tonight. Doesn't get a lot of free time with his family. And when he does, spends it with them. And obviously took them here for the trip to Japan. His daughter's in the crowd as well. I think. Mr. Saki Gabara, there's the prize, Trake. How good does that feel having that belt strapped around your waist? I don't you know. You would know. I, I never, well, I've not had a couple belts, belt, but not a heavyweight belt. I'm, I'm fat, but ain't that fat. You've worn a few belts in your time. Yeah, a couple, a couple. Takes got, a Got a new shiny one sitting on my wall right now. Just, just picked up a couple weeks ago. Fedor bowing to the crowd after taking the Pride Heavyweight Championship belt from Mr. Saka Gabara. President of Pride Fighting Championships. And really, you know, it's incredible how Fedor, even, even in victory, still, you know, is the most humble guy and has crushed all the competition. Hunt, you'll definitely see, you'll definitely have Hunt back again for 